to get through without harm, but not even attempt to go if the dove didn't make it through. They released the dove and followed it through the sea of rocks until they made it to Colchis, the country where the Golden Fleece resided. The gods and their favorite adjacent. When the Argonauts reached Colchis, Hera, the queen of Olympus, troubled at the danger they were in, went to ask Aphrodite, the goddess of love, for help in protecting them. After Hera had begged Aphrodite for help, Aphrodite agreed and sent her son Cupid to make King Aedes' daughter Medea fall in love with Jason and assist him in his quest for the Golden Fleece. When the Argonauts had arrived at King Aedes' palace and Medea looked upon Jason, Cupid shot his arrow at Medea and made her fall in love with him before she ran away into her room. After the Argonauts had been treated by King Aedes as guests out of respect for their journey, they asked him for the Golden Fleece in exchange for them doing any deed that he asked of them. King Aedes, who was angry at the thought of losing the Golden Fleece, assigned the impossible task of yoking two bulls whose feet were bronze and had fire breath, then using them to plow the land and sow the teeth of a dragon into the field, and finally slaying the armed men that rose from the ground once the teeth were planted. Jason accepted the challenge and went back with his crew to the ship, deciding that the only way to accomplish the task was to win favor over Medea, which Aphrodite had already done for him. Jason versus the impossible task. When Jason had found Medea, who was also looking for him, Medea told him of a magic ointment that she had made, which, when applied to his body and weapons, would make him safe for an entire 24 hours, and that when the soldiers rose from the ground, he should throw a stone into the herd to make them fight and kill each other. When Jason went to go attempt the challenge with the Argonauts, they were shocked at how easily Jason yoked the fire-breathing bulls, plowed the ground, and planted the dragon's teeth before throwing the rock into the crowd of undead warriors and winning the battle, making King Aedes even angrier. The Escape from Colchis King Aedes planned to trick the Argonauts, but Hera, the goddess of women, made Medea want to go back with Greece, to Greece with Jason, causing her to meet up with him again and help him get the golden fleece from the serpent that guarded the area. Jason promised to marry her when they went back to Greece, and then Medea and the Argonauts proceeded to the grove, where Medea put the serpent to sleep and the Argonauts took the fleece and made their getaway. King Aedes, who was now aware of what was going on, sent his son Aspherus along with a huge army to go and retrieve the Golden Fleece, but Medea tricked Aspherus by saying that she had the Golden Fleece and wanted to return back home, leading Aspherus to meet up with her and be struck down by Jason, who hid in the shadows waiting for the right moment to strike. Without Aspherus to lead, King Aedes' army quickly fell into disarray, leaving the sea open for the Argonauts and Medea to escape and return to Greece safely. Jason's Revenge Against Peleus Upon returning to Greece, the heroes went their separate ways, and Medea and Jason went back to the kingdom to return the, the Golden Fleece to Peleus. But when they had arrived, they found that Peleus had forced Jason's father to kill himself, and upon his death, his mother had died from grief. Jason, enraged at what Peleus had done, asked once again for Medea's help in getting revenge on Peleus, and she agreed to get Peleus' sisters into killing him themselves. One day, Medea went up to Peleus' sisters and proved that she could make Peleus young again by cutting up an old sheep, throwing it into her cauldron, and uttering a charm, which then a young ram came out and ran away. The sisters, being convinced, gave Peleus a sleeping poison drug, cut him up, put his body parts into the cauldron, and went to get Medea. But when they went to look for her, they found out that she had run away and that they would pay the price for the death of their brother Peleus, the king of Corinth. Jason and Medea After killing Peleus, Jason and Medea came to Corinth, had two children, and lived a good life. That was, until out of greed, Jason got enraged, engaged to marry the daughter of the king of Corinth, which would raise the status, the status of him and his kingdom greatly. Medea, angry at what Jason had done, made threats that made the king of Corneth fear that she would harm his, his daughter, and ordered her and her two sons to leave the country and never return. As Medea sat alone, Jason came up to her and said that this was the best outcome since she was to be killed before Jason convinced the king to only ex exile her, and promised to provide the necessary funds and resources for her journey. But Medea spoke out and but Medea spoke out and spoke of how she had saved Jason, done everything for him, and yet he still threw her away and left her to fend for herself all alone. Medea then, out of anger, killed Jason's wife, her two children, and ran away on a chariot with dragons, leaving Jason angry and condemning her and her actions, never thinking that what he himself had done was the cause of her retaliation against him. <laughs>